you know what I've not done for a while? Kickstarter. We've not looked at games on Kickstarter. And since I wasn't going to work today, I figured why not look at games on Kickstarter since it might be a little bit of fun. And I already know it's going to be because the first project, apparently, if we saw it by popularity, is Wildlife, creating an adult open world single player RPG for PC by Candy Valley Network GmbH. When I see the words adult and on Kickstarter, I just know I'm in for a really good time. I might even have to cut this one out, to be honest, because uh, if it is adult, maybe it's really adult. Let's see. May contain inappropriate content for children. All right, no children. Stop watching if you're if you're a children. Not actual in-game footage. That's exactly what I want to see when I open a Kickstarter. The first thing you tell me is we're going to show you something that is completely irrelevant, not in-game footage. Then again, they could just not say that. So fair play Beast to them on that. Man side by side. Oh, it's a furry Together adult game. Grew. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to censor this. That's an extra hour worth of editing. So blind are Skyborn outsiders. Oh, whoa. But beneath the veil of beauty lies feral instinct. Oh, it's a good trailer. By common purpose. It's a really high quality protect trailer. Protect what is sacred. Imagine if the game did look like this. You just fucking fairies, like. Our people stand together. We will not lie down. We will not submit. I bet you will. We are. The Whoa, that was loud. And a really, really epic, cool trailer. And there was ass in it as well. So really 10 out of 10 for that one. But since there's not a singular screenshot of actual gameplay, like, is that just the same trailer? Industry and oh no. It's a Patreon of that you desire to finally learn arms it's so this is a, a video going over the actual um thing and then there is some there's like some gifs with i guess actual in-engine footage explore the diverse planet of kerpol kerpol from the arid canyons to the lush jungles and then obviously shows you some of the character models that are dumb thick oh you can en enact your own fancies with whomever and ha however you desire and you just rub in lotion on somebody's back nice yeah so oh it's a furry game download the demo oh shit that's content that's content right there um we're gonna have to come back to this actually so the kickstarter has been live for like a, a couple of days and they've already raised 23 grand uh 10 percent of their goal so we'll have to keep up with this see see how it goes but off to a really good start off to a really good start. Okay, so Space Chef, an action cooking adventure for PC and consoles. Hunt, cook, and deliver food all over the nebula. Explore space, meet fa fascinating people, improve your scrap built base and machines. I'm already sold. Okay. The galaxy is full of delicious food. This cave in particular is the source of what is known as stinger eggs. I'm the chef who risks my life to get the juiciest ingredients. And that, my friend, is a stinger. Okay. Howdy. Nice to meet you. The name's Sally, but around here, I'm better known as Chef. My job is to cook delicious food and deliver it. Oh, this all looks over really, really, really cool. Uh, very strange. I was trying to see, figure out whether this was like a cinematic or not, but this is what the game actually looks like while you're playing it. Nebula. I grow my own vegetables, sometimes without getting injured. This looks fucking awesome. In my job, I get to travel a lot. 
Hot Penis places, spaceship. Cold places. Strange places. I collect all ingredients myself. Man, I fucking myself, love indie games. But sometimes I have a helping hand. Or what an interesting looking Getting the juiciest style. ingredients requires a bit of finesse. But sometimes raw firepower is all you need. This looks great. Call it luck, but I always end up back in my kitchen. Oh, jeez, time is flying. The lunch rush. You gotta keep the knives sharp and the grill hot. No time to waste here. Cooking food is fun, but there's nothing like a good <laughs> Hand over those burgers or we will food shoot space pirates. And the customers are lovely. Oh, mate, this I looks get fucking a lot awesome. Of great reviews. I get the chance to meet all kinds of creatures. Some are friendlier than others. You know, I didn't always have a fancy kitchen. Wonder if it they've all got a demo. Way back when my grandma Cactus Jane left me this home. This I is never awesome. Had to improve it, so wow. I went on a trip to get some stuff. It took more than a few days, but once my bots and machines were set up, I felt like nothing could stop me. I sound like a broken record, well, but this just looks nothing. great. To become the best chef in the galaxy, I need to take risks. Many secrets are well, I found my first the back, the backed game Some of the day. Are full of good stuff. Others, now I remember why I stopped doing these videos. One, they don't get watched very much, and two, I end up spending a bunch of money on Kickstarter projects. Are full of dangers. I admit, having someone watch my back can be... Oh, no way. Is it co-op? Thanks, buddy. Of course, being the best chef is easy when you're the only... If this is co-op, like, I was already sold, but 100% like buying a, a fairly decent package on this if it's co-op things are about to get interesting this is what a cool game what a cool game as long as this is not buggy as fuck or abandonware or or you know just none of this works and it's a lie this is fucking fantastic it looks like it's two play co-op right be the first to play all right, don't tempt me, Frodo. Don't tempt me. Four, best of all, bring your friends on delicious adventures with up to four player couch co-op coming to PC and all major consoles. I, I, you add me at two player, you add me in the trailer, 100%, that's 100% back for me. What a cool looking fucking game. Um, I assume there's not going to be a demo, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Okay, uh, next up, Allure... Uh, a lorry uh, a lorry a hand-drawn 2d platform adventure players a lorry uh, rescue endangered species and explore detailed levels in this fancy inspired 2b plat 2d platformer game so far we've had a, a adult game that looks fairly cool uh, where you can fuck furries and lion people uh, or maybe you can be a lion person and fuck the humans and a really cool action adventure space chef game with four player co-op i am very glad i did this video today can this keep up the quality? And this looks just cute as fuck. And this looks really, really nice. Rescue fellow animals. Oh no. Grow your sanctuary. This looks like some shit that's gonna make a grown man cry. I don't think I was re I don't think I was prepared for this. Oh no, bro. Was that was it sleeping at a tombstone? No, bro. Oh no, I wasn't prepared for this this morning. Protect the world. There's a lot of indie games recently tackling the thought of like death and stuff like that. And every single time I think I'll play that game and then I realise that I I don't want to deal with that <laughs> in my life right now. Let me just have a look at how much... It's, that, I mean, that looks like a, a really cool game. Uh, ooh, you can get a plushie. Yeah, that looks really nice. Uh, how much have they raised on this so far? If they're not already backed, they're already backed. Only 14,000 goal. 25 days to go and raised over their goal, 17 grand. Yeah, I'll be joining that one. Uh, a dark and atmospheric retro metroidvania. 
uh, set in the ruins of Santa Cardo, a crumbling stone city afflicted with a quiet, unseen curse. Silent Santicado. I love the music. I don't mind the art style either. But we've seen a few um, really awesome Metroidvania type games recently. That wasn't quite as retro as this. I don't dislike this. I just think I prefer the style of the newer looking ones. But that soundtrack is an absolute slapper. Oh man, I, I hate stuff like I hate I hate stuff like that jumping around trying not to get hit by the spikes. Yeah. Probably not something I back, but yeah, cool looking game. Alright, they raised 3k out of 8. 2D action roguelite featuring big pixels, fast combat, crazy abilities, with a focus on replayability. Okay. I like it. I do like games like this a lot. Oh yeah, baby, two player co-op. That's exactly what I want to see in a game like this. Really cool looking game. Really cool looking game. Not one that looks super, super unique. I mean, we've seen a lot of those recently on Kickstarter and there's probably quite a few on Steam, but yeah, cool looking game. So there we go. There's the Kickstarter adventure this week. Not as many games as we usually do, but some really interesting ones. Uh, Wildlife, I... I'm probably not going to back that, but I will play the demo. Uh, maybe it is something I would want to back, but interesting, maybe fun looking experience there. Space Chef definitely stole the show. Space Chef looks absolutely fantastic, uh, especially with it being four player co-op. So yeah, I will definitely be backing that one. Uh, don't suggest anybody backs anything unless you really like the idea of it. Of course, have a look into it, see how legit it is uh, before you put any money down on stuff like this, because it is definitely a risk. Uh, hopefully... In the future, we will have a different format for this style of video, and I will continue doing them, despite the fact they're not usually very, uh, you know, they don't get tons of views. So if you do like these videos and you want to see more of these made, definitely leave a like, leave a comment. They help with the video in the algorithm, which then incentivizes me to do them more often, or at least as often as I can do, because obviously it relies on some interesting projects showing up on Kickstarter, as opposed to just doing them every week or two, and then, you know, it's the same games usually. So thank you very much for watching. As always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Patreon is in the video description. If you want to throw some coins to your MMO Watcher each week, each month rather, uh, join Discord, link in the video description again, or type in your browser discord.gg forward slash TV. See you there. See you on stream. Uh, Twitch is in the video description as well. And hopefully see you again next time. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace.